you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm going over the market post weekend league now. It wasn't as affected as it should have been, but that was for multiple reasons. First off, weekend league rewards were messed up. Some people didn't get them for hours. They were bracketed, which was an issue. So typically, the way this works is like, when a new promo comes out, the market gets flooded with new players. So if you put 100 new players into a market, the market will come down. Now, if you just put one player every 10 minutes into the market, it doesn't have time to adjust. So with weekend league bracketing rewards, some people got them, they put them up, they sold them. By the time those players were gone, the market was normal again. So there was never that big boom into the market. So if everyone had got their rewards at one time, the market would have been flooded with new stuff and it would have came down really fast and hard for like an hour and everyone could have bought a bunch of cheap stuff. But since it came out slowly, it was like people pulled some Kolo Max, they sold them before new people kept pulling them because if 30 people pulled them at once, its price would have came down to like 210 to 180 right there, but or 100 people pulled them. But since only like 10 at a time pulled them, they all sold off before new ones come in. It kind of affected it. I mean, some higher price players that come down, other players weren't as affected and that's just because of the nature of the type of card they are, like the superstar cards. Now, before we get into that guys, and before I go right to the, um, the auction block and show you guys one by one everything, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to drop a sub. We are currently at, I think, 6.1, we finally nailed 6k. We're going for 7k next, and hopefully guys, if you guys can get me to 10k by the end of this month, I have a special 10k subscriber special for you. It will be with another YouTuber. It's gonna be cooler than you ever imagined, guys. If you can get me to 10k subscribers by September, I have a massive special for you guys coming probably the second week of September with another YouTuber. Pretty big in the very big in the community. You guys will love it. But guys, that's all I'm gonna tell you for now. Just make sure to start smashing the sub button. And let's get this video to 200. Let's get this video to 300 likes. And comment down below what you guys think about the market and what you guys have what you guys have been getting for cheap and any kind of tips you guys have for me because I can incorporate that into another video. And turn on the notification bell to be notified every time I post a brand new video. Now, guys, if you watched my weekly video yesterday where I got my rewards, they were horrible. Never take the packs. But I didn't get all my rewards. Apparently, the 84 plus player elite was delayed. Which it gave me right when I turned my game on. I actually got a quick sell card. So I got like another 80k, which is, I guess, kind of makes up for. Not really. But anyways, guys, you, you know the rules. You know how this works. We start with the 8081s. We go through them one by one by one. So for these, these haven't moved much. You know what it is? Them delaying these rewards into a day and a half really just messed with everything. And then they don't have weekend league this week either. So this is kind of like going to be a really bad week for getting cards cheap. Because they're still going to be expensive. Because they delayed the weekend league rewards. They messed them up. And then now, we do get a new promo coming out. Today at 10.30 Eastern, we do get a new promo, so that really could affect the market. So if that does, I will update this video tomorrow for you guys, going over what happened in relation to what you should be doing following the, the market change. Now, the 80s 81s don't look like they've changed much. You go down, 81s are still 15K. Still as overpriced as ever. Wouldn't be touching those guys. I'd still be selling. Still in selling mode right now. There's always two modes in this game. It's selling and buying. And right now, if you have 82s, sell those two. So with 83s are going for 83s or 27k sell so far 80s through 83s are all sales 84 to 85 84s are 44k wow wow what are the 85s going for oh god no way 60k for an 85 almost sell everything Wow, I'm gonna have weekend link this week either to readjust this. This this new promo better kill it. Wow, 85,000 coins for an 86. These should be like 50k. 85,000 coins, 90,000 coins for Zeke. Sell all these cards. 87k, 87's over 100k. And that's just Terrell Suggs bad. If you guys want to like go down Julio, these guys actually aren't that bad of a price. And Antonio Brown. But from a standpoint of all the other cards, sell everything. So far, 83, 87 are all sells. Then we keep going, actually. Let's see. Michael Schur, full blood. I don't know what the full legend pieces are looking like. If you guys want a full legend like Lawrence Taylor, then I'd wait till Saturday for the uh, promo. But obviously, I do my market talks I'm doing today. Probably one after the promo tomorrow. And then one for legend Saturday. So that's going to have to be like the bracket of it. So it's kind of like three days in a row, actually. So it all really depends. I'll see if I want to do three of those in a row. But it does look like the Lawrence Taylor legend pieces are coming down. So if you want Lawrence Taylor, wait for legend Saturday. You can probably get him for like 400k total. Von Miller went up because a lot of people are starting to get his full card. Which kind of sucked. Wow, Jalen Ramsey's almost at 300k. I'm, I'm in shock. All right, 88 89s. Let's see what we got. We got John Elway going for 150. 
Ducati used to go for 108. Just Tucker used to go for 85. Brady used to go for 85. Sell them right now. They're not worth it. Is Brady a good quarterback? Yes, but is he worth this price considering what I've seen him for now? He's almost 200K. What's Wagner going for? Oh my God, Larry Allen's 220. I feel like I should sell my team right now. I'd make so many coins. Wow. 223. I got him for like 130. I really wish I would have pulled Keekly out of my NAT card now so I could have just sold Bobby Wagner and made 200K. I sold Reggie White for 300K yesterday. These prices are crazy. Weekend League messed with it hard because people got a lot of coins, but people ne the market never crashed because of how cool, slow the rewards came in. It also is a, fa uh, a factor that most people don't take the packs anymore because most YouTubers show the packs are kind of horrible. Aaron Donald, 290. Wow. Mark Lawrence, 98. Odell, 300K. Wow, let's get over to the 90s, 91s. Okay, so the first one's John Elway, 286. This card used to go for like 220. Reggie White yesterday was like 315, so he actually came down a little bit, but this is where he should have been. I kind of was able to oversell on the hype of weekly coming in. Let's see, Bruce Matthews, 300K. I probably should have bought him when I saw him for like 240. Didn't think he'd be this high again. Derek Brooks is not worth 326. If you have Derek Brooks, please sell him. Please sell all these legends right here. Jerry Rice, make sure to sell him for 329. Are you kidding me? 329? Wow, sell everything. Every card in this game that you have, just sell it. These are way, way overpriced. There's gonna be there's gonna be a crash soon. I don't know what it's gonna be. It's gonna be either the potential theme diamonds today. It's gonna be something. Something is going to affect this. A big bundle. Something will affect this hard. Not sure what it's gonna be. It could take another week or two just because of there's gonna be no weekend league or anything. I don't know, but these prices are Mahomes 400k, Gurley 408, Gilmore 420, Keekly 427, Ray Guy 500k. Okay, Lawrence Taylor is like the only card I've seen so far come down because people were buying him for 750, 800k. So in my opinion, on Legend Saturday, it'll probably come down from about 503k. It's probably like if you snipe out his piece, you're probably gonna for like 400k. Because if you think about it, if you get his pieces for like 10k cheaper each, or like 15 to 20k cheaper each, times five for all the pieces that comes out, it's a pretty good deal in my opinion. I recommend waiting for Legend Saturday. That's what I'll be doing to pick up my Lawrence Taylor, or I'll wait till next weekend because it's not a rush because weekend league isn't even open this weekend, so I don't really need the best team this week. Kellen Winslow, he's a great tight end, but too expensive, especially since he's limited time. His card even went up. He's 820k now. Makes me want to take the auctionable one and make a quick 800k. Uh, to be honest with you guys, but then again, I think I'd rather than that and get my John Madden too. I don't really know. It's a tough decision. It really is. If I took this, if you take the full one right now, get 800k. That means I'll have to waste 2,000 trophies. I'm not entirely sure what 2,000 trophies is worth right now. I don't know. Tough decision. I literally can get my I can get my Nat Von Miller and like 30 more trophies, which I have probably have sitting in my binder just a quick sell. So it really just depends. Let's look over this real quick. One one last. I just want to see one thing. He eats 89s. Boys, if you have any cards, especially right here, especially right here, sell them. These cards and these cards are the most overpriced from 86 through 89s. They're so above where they ever should be. Sell them right now. Unless you think they're going to get a new card soon, they're going to be going up in value even more because power-up reasons. Sell them right now. I don't, let's go see what power-ups are real quick while we're doing this. Those are probably going for crazy expensive. Let's go see. Let's go see, like, what is it going, like, Aaron Donald? Let's see, Rams, Donald and Gurley. Gurley's probably only going for, like, 25k, 30k. But I don't even want to know what Donald's going for. All right, let's see. Gurley's going for 14k, so he actually came down quite a ton. That's because his card's been out for a while. Donald's going for 106k. I should honestly power down my Donald and sell his power for 100k. I really should. That's unreal. 106k for a 76 overall card. That's still like the best pull you can get out of like a Hail Mary pack or like a power pack or anything like that right now. That's so, that's, that's like beyond real to me, guys. Right now, so takeaways from this, build up your coin stack. Everyone's saying, should I buy a team right now? No, no one buy a team. Save all your coins. Wait, because right now a million coins right now is worth nothing. A million coins in two weeks will be worth double when the price is sky. They, they can't stay this high forever. It's like that saying, like everything that's up must come down. Like that has to come down. There's no way around that. So guys, just keep your coin stack. Wait for the crash. It's coming, guys. Now, guys, let me get out of this video. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Go down below, smash the sub button. Let's get us to 10k by the end of this month to get that subscriber special I was talking about. I'll probably put it on the community page so you guys can start hyping it up and let's get this going. Also, if, you're, if you haven't already, turn on the noti bell so you're notified when I post a brand new video. Comment down below if you guys still have how many coins you guys have and if you plan to save your team. 
Because if I was you and you were, if you're not competing, sell your team. I honestly, so I'm gonna go add up on a calculator soon how much my team's worth because it's definitely worth a ton right now. But guys, let's get this video to 300 likes. Don't forget to comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content as of late. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.